I got a telephone in my backyard and I can call it from my car. All right, looks like time's up. Let's do this. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to my stream. I'm Pierre, your host. I hope you're all doing great today. I know that I am. So I am trying at the same time as I'm doing this on YouTube, I figured I would hook up my uh, phone and stream live on Instagram at the same time. I'm not sure we're going to have any drop frames. I'm not sure if my internet connection is strong enough to deal with this, but I figured if we never try it, we'll never know. So that's what I'm doing. I'm shooting for it. If I see that I'm dropping some frames, well, I'll just cut the, the live stream on Instagram because uh, the main thing is this YouTube stream. So what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is, like we do every day, we're going to go over to the computer. We're going to check out quickly what we did yesterday, and then we'll start our day from there. So what did we do yesterday? If I recall correctly, whoops, that's the wrong. Uh, Jesus, I guess I'm off to a raw bad start today. OK, trying to do too many things at the same time. So that's what we did yesterday. We did my guy with the, the oxygen mask, and then we did some shadowing all around it. And then we tackled the top part of this painting by doing the hourglass, at least the first coat. We laid that down, and then when we stepped back and we looked at the shadowing of our nuclear dude, I realized like uh, the, the, the contrast was too heavy. It looked uh, pretty shitty. And uh, so I decided to just cover it all up and start again from scratch. When you're doing shadowing, it has to be extremely uh, subtle. I mean, uh, I know that on a camera, when you have a lot of contrast, it looks great. But in real life, and I sell my paintings to people who look at them in real life, it has to be subtle. And uh, most paints, when they dry, they have a tendency to darken. So when you're doing the shadowing, you really have to time things and have it just right. And in this particular case, it didn't work out. So anyways. What are we going to do today? So today we are going to put a second coat on our hourglass and on the background. We're going to add a few leaves uh, to our uh, background as well. And then we might tackle the final details of uh, my guy here. But since we're Friday, I like leaving early on Friday, so I might get lazy and we might not do that. So. That being said, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get some gray, light gray paint for our second coat. And we're going to do that right now. So I know I'm turning my back uh, to the Instagram camera, but that's the way it goes. I'm not going to, uh, well, why not? I guess I could move it around a little bit. I don't really want to do that because that means I, I'm already ping-ponging between uh, two cameras. Now I have to add a third one and move uh, the tripod. It's going to get really complicated. So anyways, we'll try this. It's Friday. It's a day for innovation. And if it looks good, if it works out, well, we might do this again on Monday. So I got a clean palette here. And I'm going to put a little black paint. A little bit of black paint on the side and then a little bit of white paint of course to make some light gray so first I got to clean off my knife I don't want to get any black paint in the white can that would be a drag there we go so let's add some white paint then. There we go. I don't need that much. It is the second coat after all. The second coat is basically just to hide the brush strokes. That's why I do it. So 
again, let's clean off our knife, keeping the materials clean. That is a must. Because if I start painting and I start getting concentrated on what I'm doing, I have a tendency to forget because I'm concentrated and then I screw up by using my knife in another color and uh, screwing it all up. So always think of cleaning off my knife between after I'm done using it. Now, next step is picking the right paintbrush. So I don't really remember what I used. Maybe this one right here. So let's mix the white and the black and make a light gray. And there we go. Just blend all this in, add some more water so the paint flows the way it should on the canvas. The black overwhelms the white very quickly. So we'll get everything to be the right consistency and then we'll add more black to, to make it the right color if we need. But we are going with a very light hue for right now. There, I just added a tad of black and already became quite gray. I think it's going to work out okay. Let me just add a little more water. It's a little stiff. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Or is it a little dark? I can't really tell. I have to keep in mind, as I was saying, it has a tendency to darken as it dries. So let me just put a little dab right here. And it looks like it's going to be fine, a little bit lighter, which is good. So we got that ready. Now I'll just move over camera number one a little bit closer. There we go. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to keep this offside because I don't want to be in front of the lens. That should do it right there, right? Yes, all you see is my hand. So that's pretty good. Uh, let me just come back to camera number two for a few seconds. And then I do have this, this as well. So let me move this over and see what happens here. I'm not used to working with my phone, so I'm not sure if I want to be close up or further away. Uh, let's do it like that. What the hell? Anyways, so I got that together. Juggling with three, four cameras. That's a lot of fun. So where am I here? I got that together. <laughs> I got that together. Okay, that's where I'm at. I'm at putting my second coat of gray paint down on this painting. So let me switch over to camera number one. And then let's get to work. I don't have to be too picky on the edges because there will be a black outline all around. But that's not a reason to be sloppy either. So I'm going to do the best I can. Let's get a little bit right here on the edge. There we go. On the inside of our hourglass. I paint often hourglasses. To me, it's important. I just love that concept and thinking about what time is. A fascinating. As I got into astronomy, you have to eventually 
start asking yourselves questions about time and what it is. We know that it's plastic. Time can shorten or lengthen itself depending on the mass. And time actually near a real massive object like a black hole, time can actually just stop. Now in our day-to-day -day lives, we've realized that time is kind of plastic and is flexible, right? When you have a good time, time has a tendency to go by quickly. And when you're having a boring time, it just drags on forever. So already that perception of time is pretty interesting. And then in astronomy, of course, time is mixed in with space, space-time, the fourth dimension. Anyways. Whoops. I said, let's not get sloppy. There we go. There we go. The second coat always goes on very easy. But it's important because it hides all the brush strokes, right? From the first coat. There we go. So maybe I'll check out my computer and see if we have any drop frames on this stream since we added uh, Since we added uh, the Instagram feed to our YouTube feed, but apparently I'm still uh, uploading at 5,000 kilobytes per second at 30 uh, frames per second and no drop frames, so everything is good there. And I assume on Instagram everything is going okay as well. So, all right, very good. So, we got that done. Let me just come over here now. And I guess I'm going to bring this baby with me as well. What the hell? Put that there. And now we're going to make some... Uh, I was thinking of doing a light cerulean blue of just a few leaves to fill in a little bit more of my background. So... Here's the cerulean blue, and I'm going to do that. Well, we'll see. Not completely dark, but pretty much so. Let's figure it out as we... So, put a little bit of uh, blue there. We're going to add some white to it. Grab the old knife. So I'll put this to the side because I'm not exactly sure. Not exactly sure the, the quantity of white that I want. I'm not sure how light I want to make these leaves as well. One thing is that I'm pretty sure is that I'll have to put uh, two coats. Right? Because just about every color I use, you can see eventually through them. So uh, I like my colors to be nice and opaque. So I usually have to put two coats down. So uh, we're going to put today the first coat. And then the second coat is really the one where we want the hue to be, to match really what I have in mind, what my eyes and brains see. The first coat is just an up approximation. So. I got this together. Let's blend this in together. So I'm going to just jump over to camera number one right down here. Wait a minute. I'll get that ready here. Bring this down. Zoom out. Bring the camera down. I'll put a jar of water right here on my little bar stool. And uh, 
So what, do I have to move this over as well now? God. Okay, why not? Why not? We're going to try everything like this today. We'll see eventually if it's worth doing this in the future or not. So, as you can see right there is our... Oh, let me switch cameras. That might help. So let's get back to camera number one. And as you can see, there's our cerulean blue, our white paint. So let's just add a little bit of white to the blue and see what we have. I want a, some sort of a baby blue, but I want a dark baby blue because I will do a lighter outline afterwards. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'm just going to add another big drop of water just because I want this paint to glide on the canvas. There we go. Let's just work this a little bit more. I think I need a, it looks a little thick, so I'm going to just add another drop of water. I mean, you basically need three things for, for painting to be fun, right? You have to have the right consistency of your paint. You have to have the right paintbrush. And you have to be in a position where you're comfortable. If you can do all three of those things, then it's a blast uh, to paint. All you need after that is just concentration and coordination. So that looks pretty good. But I have a feeling this paintbrush is going to be a little too big, a little too fat. So I'll wipe it off like this. And I'm going to come back to camera number two and pick the right paintbrush. So before I do that, let me bring up this camera and go back to where we're going to be painting. I'm probably going to start up right in this area right here. So. I'm going to zoom in right away, get this camera all ready for that. I would say something like that. That looks pretty good. Now I can come over to camera number two <laughs> and bring over my webcam. Damn, not the webcam, but my phone. And we'll set that baby right here. Why not? I don't know. It's all a learning process here, how to use a third camera, which is your telephone. Whatever. So a new challenge. That's pretty cool. So paintbrush, paintbrush. Because this baby here is way too fat. So I need one a little bit thinner and soft hairs. I don't want to go in, into my harder hairs. I want these to be nice and soft. I want the paint to just glide on the canvas. And what size? Maybe something like this. Let's try this size here. See if this works. So. I got the brush already. Let me get rid of the excess water so it doesn't drip on the painting. There we go. And I'm going to move my telephone over to the side here again so we can see what I'm actually doing. Look at that. Double, double dual cameras right there. And then I'll switch over to camera number one because this is the camera that I'm going to do the editing for my YouTube and my films afterwards. So definitely do not want to forget about that. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe something like that. Yeah, this is definitely going to need two coats. No need for me to get too close to the edge, even though I can't help myself, apparently. This brush seems a little small, but what the hell.
There we go. Very good. Now maybe I'll zoom in just to have a little bit of material for editing my movie. So let me just put this here. Zoom in a little bit. I also can feel that my camera is going backwards. So let me bring that forward. There we go. Just like that. This brush is a little small, but what the hell. Pull this baby back just a whisker like that. Okay, I'm switching paint brushes because really it's a pain in the neck. Here we go. Got another brush. I'll just come back here for a few seconds. There we go. Let me get rid of the excess water. There we go. And see if it works better with this paint brush here. Believe it or not, the answer is no. This is not the right paintbrush either. Actually, it's even worse than the other one. So, screw that. And let me find another brush for crying out loud. How about this one? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go back to that first brush I was using, which worked pretty well, but I was hoping to get something different, but what the hell. That's fine. So let me pull this camera back again. There we go. All right. Like I said, there's no need to get too close to the edge since there will be an outline. There we go. So let's move over to this left hand side. There we go.
right? Okay, pretty good. It still bugs me that I don't have the right paintbrush. I don't know why. I couldn't find the brush I usually use. But anyways, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Still bugs me though. Barely won't see this part right here because of my black outline that's going to go all the way around, but what the hell. Again, just the first coat. I do have to step back and take a look. So I can move the camera back down. We'll go down this way. Nice view of my telephone. Let me move that out of the way. And I'm going to move this over a little bit closer. I guess I'm going to be painting in this area so I could zoom in just a whisker like that. Okay. And this guy just kind of a pain in the neck. I'm going to put him over here. And I'm going to grab my chair as well. And go back to camera number one. Let's grab just a little bit more water. There we go. This is just the background, right? So.
Okay, let me just step back for a second, see where we're at here. And I think maybe just a few more leaves right over on this side. So let me get the camera down there. Zoom in like that, I guess. Okay, just a few leaves there, I guess. Okay, so let's do these few more leaves. Then we'll decide if we're going to call it a call it a day. When I have the right paintbrush, I don't have to do all these tiny little strokes. But I don't know why today I couldn't find my paintbrush. The one that I usually use. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it's by the, the sink where I wash my brushes. Would that be it? Who knows? There we go. So what does that look like? Move this out of the way here. Okay, so the next step would be for me to work on this, but since the background is all wet, I can't really touch that. And uh, so you know what, I'm going to call it quits. Why not? I'm going to call it quits since it's uh, Friday. I don't mind going home early. By the time I do the editing of my movie and everything, it will be the right time. Just zoom in a little bit on the painting right there. So we have a view from camera number one. And there's the view from camera number two. And the view from camera number one. And there we have it. So. I'm going to shut off this live Instagram feed. There we go. And video, discard media. I'm not going to save it. That's what live is all about, right? Just being live as we're doing it. Shutting that baby off. There we go. And moving this out of the way, 
So, okay. <laughs> Whew, three cameras at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for joining me. I all hope you had uh, fun watching this uh, short stream. What was it? 39 minutes. Man, that's an early afternoon. But anyways, that's the way it goes. I hope you'll join me on Monday as we continue on this painting. I want to wish you all a, a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a, a lot of fun. I hope uh, we're, we're supposed to have rain here for the next few days in Nice, France, where I'm at right now. But believe me, it's... Uh, we need that rain. I mean, it has been so dry here that they're already talking about uh, rationing the water in July or August. I mean, we have had zero rain in the fall and in the spring. So uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed that it's going to rain all weekend, but I can see the sun trying to pop out. So uh, I don't know. Hopefully we, it will rain. And we need a long rain, not a big thunderstorm that's over in 40 minutes. We need uh, enough rain so it sink, sink, sinks in to the ground. Okay, so after the weather report, I'm going to leave you with two things. The first one is I'm going to leave you with my schedule. And the other one is by saying, ciao mes amis.